Instructional video for 71008S Heavy Duty Programmable Sewing Machine. Hitex 71008 is one of the heaviest programmable bar tacking and pattern sewing machines for stitching very thick ropes and slings. In the manufacturing of climbing ropes, safety ropes, rescue ropes, height safety harness and personal protective equipment and military equipment. It is the best cell automatic sewing equipment widely used by rope and harness manufacturers in United States, Canada, Italy, France, UK, Belgium, Spain, Netherlands, Colombia, Argentina, Chile, Australia, India, South Africa, New Zealand, Fiji, Ukraine and Russia. This film made by David Miao. If your machine came with rope clamp, please check instructional video for 71008 or rope bar tacking sewing machine firstly. Then check the steps 1, 6, 7, 8, and 10. If your machine does not include rope clamp, please start from step number 2. Step 1. Change the clamp. If you are to sew flat harness webbing or other flat belts, you need to change the clamp. Before changing clamp, please turn off the machine. Turn off both power and air pressure. Firstly, please loose the screws for cover. Total 3 screws. Remove the cover. Adjust the clamp to a proper position for convenient operation. Loosen the four screws that fixed the clamp. Take off the four air pipes that connected to the electronic control unit. Please note their order, yellow, green, red, and blue. Install the flat webbing clamp. Insert the air pipes in order, yellow, green, red and blue. Tighten the four screws to fix the clamp. The screws should not be very tight, because you might need to adjust the clamp position. Check and adjust position of clamp and big needle plate. Make sure the needle plate and clamp are in parallel position. Then tighten the screws. Install the cover back.
Step 2. Installation. Install the thread stand onto table. Find the operation panel, fix onto the table. Note a proper angle and position for convenient operation. Step 3. Shacking. Please check and adjust the needle position before turn on the sewing machine. Move the clamp by hand, forward, backward, right and left. Make sure the needle hole of needle plate is in the center of clamp, sewing frame. Make sure that no stuff blocking the needle hole. Step 4. Turn on the machine. Connect to the air compressor. This is a switch that controls the air pressure. Push it to right to open it. This is the oil water separator. The value of oil water separator is 0.5 to 0.6 MPA. This is the air pressure regulator. The value of air pressure regulator is 0.3-0.4 MPA. Connect a power supply, 220-240D50-60HZ, one phase. Turn the switch to on. Green LED will light up. You will hear a long beep. The machine is turned on. Step 5. Selecting the pattern. This is operation panel. And this is pattern NO. The pattern code on operation panel will flash. When you press this key. Press the key 4 and 6 to select the pattern number. Next press key speed, then press key 4 and 6 to adjust the speed of the sewing pattern. The real value depends on the thickness of the material. The sewing speed must be slower for thicker material. The sewing speed should be set between 200 RPM 600 RPM. After the speed adjusted, press enter key to confirm. The clamp will automatically move to the origin position of the pattern. At this time, the needle hole position is just the start sewing point of pattern. Six dots set the pattern center. Press F1 key, pattern center. Enter pattern center. At this time, the needle hole position is just the center of sewing pattern. If it is not in the center of sewing frame, Press 4 and 6 key, the clamp will move on the x-axis. Press 8 and 2 key, the clamp will move forward and backward on the y-axis. You can adjust the needle hole position in sewing frame,
by these four keys. Usually we set needle hole position to the center of the material. Left right symmetry. After finishing the adjustment, please press enter key for confirmation. The machine will exit the interface of pattern center adjustment and back the start sewing point automatically. Because the pattern center position changed, the start sewing point of pattern change accordingly. We can compare the position of stat sewing point. If you have special sewing requirement, for example, the pattern center to a position relative to the right, you can repeatedly adjust the position of the pattern center within sewing frame until the desired position. But the pattern sewing center must be within sewing frame, clamp. When finishing adjustments, press the enter key to confirm the clamp will automatically move to the origin position of pattern. Step 7, Trial Sewing. Press forward key, machine will enter the trial sewing mode. Press backward key, needle will move backward one step. Press on the forward or backward key. The needle continue moving forward or backward. Press on the forward key. The machine will finish whole pattern under the trial sewing mode. During trial sewing, please make sure the needle always move within frame slash clamp. And make sure the machine runs smoothly, no abnormal noise. Otherwise, please readjust the machine before start your production. Press CL key to exit trial sewing mode. Press enter key to confirm. Machine will be back to sewing start point. 8. Dot adjust the presser foot height. Load the webbing at any position and angle. As long as it is convenient for you to observe the position between the presser foot and the material. Pedal the right and left foot switch to down the sewing frame. Press the thread key, the presser foot go down. Turn the hand wheel clockwise, down needle to the lowest position. Loosen the screw, adjust the presser foot height. Two to three millimeters below the surface of the material, special material may be required different setting. At same time, make sure the needle be the middle of the presser foot hole. Then, tighten the screw. Step 9, Threading, Wind Thread, Install the Bobbin Thread. Put bottom thread on thread stand. Take bobbin out after threading. Wind bottom thread on bobbin. The small hole of bobbin should be matched up with protruding from the bobbin winder. Push the bobbin holder to fix the bobbin. Press wind key. Machine will enter winding thread mode. Pedal the middle foot switch start. Machine start to wind thread. The bobbin holder will be sprung out while bobbin is full. 
pedal the middle foot switch start thread winding stops press win key machine will exit thread winding mode take bobbin out Open shuttle hook. Install bobbin. Trim the excess thread. The thread tail should be five to six centimeters then put the upper thread on thread stand. Threading your sewing machine as we do in the video. Press threading key, turn the hand wheel in clockwise direction. Down needle to low position but convenient for threading. Now turn the hand wheel to lift the needle. After threading, cut the excess thread, the thread tail should be 5 to 6 centimeters. Step 10, Sewing. Put webbing under the sewing frame. Pedal the right and left foot switch to down sewing frame. Adjust the direction of the needle cooler. Make sure the nozzle aim at needle. Turn the air pressure regulator, it can adjust the blowing pressure. Pedal the middle foot switch, the machine starts to sew.
Trim the thread after sewing, usually keep 5-6cm thread tail. Then check the top and bottom side stitch quality. Make sure no skip stitch, bobbin thread knots, tangles and other stitching defects. If you have any additional question or contact our engineer at info at automatic-sewing.com, thank you for your time.